I'm pretty sure it's somebody detecting because I can see the scoop on the shoulder and the detector shaft. That's all I can tell. Yeah, a looter. Someone's looting. It could be Ocean View Gary, too. I ain't seen him this year. I get close enough to see what kind of scoop he's got, I can tell. I don't know who it is. Looks like a CTX. And that's the first target I've seen him dig. He's like me on a ball spot. It might be Thomas. But I don't think Thomas has got a scoop like that. Oh, I think it is Thomas. Stand by. Diablo, Diablo scoop. I recognize him. Where's, where's all the damn tickets at? No tickets out here. You're right. I found a few back that way. I found some sinkers and some pennies. I found two quarters, two downs, a nickel, and a penny. Well, you, that, that's not bad, huh? I ain't found nothing but pennies and sinkers and one pair of nail clippers. <laughs> Not a hunter out here. He's hunting for fish. A fly fisherman. I've never seen a saltwater fly fisherman before. Uh oh, got a hit. Solid, 32. A little jumpy though. Let's see what 32 is. It's loud, I can tell you that. Stand by, stand by. Spaceship, maybe. Martian spaceship. That's what it looks like. Rolo. Looks like it ought to be the cover for something. You catching anything out here? Back away. You're gonna have to back away because I'm fly fishing. I know what you're doing. Yeah. Dummy. I just asked were you catching anything? Well, just because you swore at me, I'm not gonna tell you anything. It doesn't matter. <laughs> That's a nice guy. I've been two sets of rocks to the east now. This set and that set. I'm going to, I'm going to home. I should have probably gone where I was yesterday. Ended up at yesterday, I should say. I ain't dug a target in 40 minutes. If I can figure out how to do it, I'm going to put a link to a YouTube video of a buddy of mine in South Carolina named Rick.
he's a fisherman. He's got this cool boat called a, uh, let me think what the name of it is. It's a X-10. I can't, I can't think of the name of the damn thing now. It's 10 foot long. It's got a two and a half or three horsepower motor on it. It's about 50 some inches wide. I've been looking at it. I'm thinking about getting a boat for the spring. Got two seats. Pretty cool boat, the way it's designed. It's got a, uh, it's got those motors that you, that you normally would hang off the outside, like fresh water, the electric motors. You, you freshwater guys know what I'm talking about, but I don't know how to tell you what it is that you see it. They used to hang, they used to hang off the boat and you have a little arm, you plug them to your battery, the electric propeller, you know like we'd go on a bass fishing boat. Well, this boat's got two of them installed under the hull. And you use foot pedals to maneuver it. You can, you know, you can propel the boat with just these electric motors. You can turn left and right and back up with these feet, with these foot pedals. And then when you want to go home or you want to move, you crank up the outboard. But like I said, it's only 10 foot long. Cool ticket. I'll let you take a look at it. See what you think. Give me your opinion. It's got to have a trailer. I was looking for something not trailable. I could slide in the back of my truck like a solo. Solo makes a boat I'm talking about. It's like a wide, wider kayak, but it's got an outboard motor on it. And it'll fit right in the back of my truck. It's, uh, I think it's 12 or 14 foot long though, which is okay. I ain't complaining. I just didn't want to have the hassle of mess with a trailer, buy tires and inspection stickers and license plates. I may have to go that way, especially with this boat I was telling you about, X-10. Anyway, you'll see it. Do what you think. I don't know where my leader is, but when I pulled up, she was waxing her car, washing her car off. She told me, says, I got some more knives for you. Somebody dropped some knives off while you were gone. <laughs> I said, oh, just what I needed. And you got a package. A package... I think is a knife too. Uh, here's that what's it we found today. Let's see what's in it. Irony junk, I think. Piece of something. Iron. Okay, let's go check the knives out. The package. I know that's at least one knife from my buddy Roy in Georgia. He sent me some knives uh, last year. She says they're in the kitchen, but I'm in the kitchen. I don't see any knives. Stand by. Bag on the, on the dining room table. Cool bag. Solinger. Solinger. Well, let's see what's this in. Stand by a minute. Well, there's six in here. Six that I've never seen before. They're called Zolagen Profiline. Top quality. They're really thick, heavy knives. Thick. Got a pretty good bevel on them. But they're all the same basic thickness not very no variation much really heavy duty knives I've never seen any of them or heard of them before they look like they're relatively new 
and not overly sharp and not overly dull. I don't know. I got to call up and see what they, what they want to do. I mean, I know they want to sharpen them, but I don't know. All right, let's see what's in this box here. I know there's at least one knife in here. Oh, look at here. Big old Jack. Got him some tennis balls. From the Indian. Roy, you're the man. I like it. Somebody else is going to like it, too. Look at it, Jack. He must be. Oh, that's where they're going for a walk. That's where she is. She took them for a walk on the street. Oh, they'd be happy boys in a minute. Let's see here. This is supposed to be a World War II German dagger. Yep, that's what it is. I think he said his father brought it back from the war. Stand by, let's get it out of there. Put some pictures up there of it. The tip's been gnarled up on it. Can you see it? But then that is in good shape. Hey, boo boo. What you doing, boo boo? Look at this big old knife. You want to kiss it? Mm -hmm. What is that, Tuffy? Man, this is a nice ticket. Okay, we're knifed up for tomorrow. Look, these are brand new tennis balls. I didn't know they were brand new until I took the top off, getting ready to take them out. Good gracious, thank you, Mr. Roy. In action. What do you think? What do you think, Big Ol' Jack? <laughs> Circus train dogs. There you go. That's right, Big Ol' Jack. What do you think? New Dunlap it says. That's right, Big Ol' Jack. We got some drugs for Jack. For his hips and his bones. They're a little expensive, but as you can see, he's like a little puppy now. He can run all around and chase Dottie like he was never could before. He's been lagging and laying in the dirt, not having much fun. Now he's been rejuvenated. He's a circus trained Jack. Uh-oh, he gets mad, boy, when she takes his balls. Uh-oh, circus train, you missed that one. <laughs> I did some of uh, a roundup. Three gray matters, one quarter. Extra, extraterrestrial space pod. Some pennies. Nail clippers. Screw. And that little gold earring. This is a part of a vapor smoke doodad thing. My buddy Thomas sent me a link to it. The one we saw today. China. Now I will say that is the first piece of gray matter I ever, ever found made in China. I can't believe it. 